welcome back to my channel where we talk everything special education. If that interests you, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified of whenever I make a new video. Also, please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. Today we are talking all about money dice games. All of the money dice games are games that I've created for you and you can grab them in the description of this YouTube video or on my Teachers Pay Teachers store, which is called Activity Teacher. I wanna start out by asking you to comment down below what grades you teach and what kind of teacher you are because I really wanna to get to know you guys. The first few games I'm going to show you are perfect for special education because they they are leveled. So here's the first game. The first level is matching coins by picture. So students will roll a dice. Let's say that they roll a number one. Students will grab a penny and the next student goes and they roll a five. They get to pick any coin of their choice and you will keep going through the students and they will actually add up their earnings throughout the game. And then at the end of the class period or whenever you decide that it's time to be done playing, the student with the highest amount of money will win. So that's the first level. The next level is identifying coins by name, then identifying coins by value. Level four is adding two like coins at the same time. Level five is adding two mixed coins. So as you can see, you can pick a level to meet your students' needs. Then we switch it up and we change it to dollar bills. So I'll just flip through these really quick. This is level two, here's level three. Level two is adding two of the same dollar bills at one time. And level five of the dollar bills is two different bills. So they will add up the two different bills and they will continue to add up all of their money throughout the game. The third dice game that I have for you is a budgeting dice game. And I call it, do I have enough money? So kind of like the first coin game, the students will roll the dice and they will collect their money. But once they collect their money, they also are going to grab one of these cards. So I like to have these cards facing down so students will grab one. So this one here is a book and it costs 99 cents. So at this point in the game, the student has to figure out if they have 99 cents. So students will answer the question, do I have enough money? And if it was their first roll and they rolled a penny, then the answer would be no. But next round, they might pick they might pick this one, which is 33 cents, and maybe they do have enough money this time. So the answer would be yes, I have enough money. And students are actually going to keep track of how many times they got the answer correct. So every time they get the answer correct of do they have enough money, they will give themselves a point. They are competing against their classmates to basically get the answer correct. It doesn't matter if they had enough money or if they didn't have enough money. It just matters if they knew if they had enough money or didn't have enough money. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> So since students will be adding up their earnings throughout the game, you can also play that whoever had most amount of money at the end of the time will win. There's a couple different ways that you can play this game. My students love this and it really helps them practice their budgeting skills. All right, that's it for today's games. I hope your students love these games as much as my students love playing these. Again, you can grab any of these activities in the description of this YouTube video or in my Teachers Pay Teachers store, Activity Teacher. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, happy teaching.